Thor is back. Thor has returned. Ah! <laughs> Three year review of the Thor bar. Here we go. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Far Outpost coming at you today. This is kind of like a three year review. We got this Thor edition power bar in 2018. It was the first real bar we bought for the gym. And uh, 45 pound variant. He had a 20 kilogram version that he also put out that had the chrome sleeves with the 20 uh, kilogram competition, like a uh, spacing on the on the collars over here or on the on the sleeves where this was thinner so you could go from this which is like 16.25 inches of loadable space to 16.88 um, and if you saw his instagram video that's what he uses is he uses that 20 kilogram version so i want to show you kind of you know a lot of people ask about how the cerakote sleeves wear so you can see that right there and then you can see this is the the newer one this is the chan bar that we just got last year so you can see kind of some signs right where we're using it but it hasn't really worn yet. And then you can see this right here is starting to get worn. Now this doesn't bother me, but I could definitely see how, if you were into keeping your stuff super nice, I could see how this would bug you. Um, you know, we had a little bit of a, a drop here. So that's actual damage. That's not um, worn finish. That's actually like a, a drop. So that'll, uh, that's never gonna look good again. <laughs> but what I wanted to show you was, I wanted to show you that because the knurling is really the most important part. If you look at the knurling a couple of years in with the Cerakote over it, um, it's just held up just fantastic. I mean, this is still a super aggressive, super aggressive bar. You can actually kind of, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more here, but you can see how it's kind of got the, the mountain points on it. It's not necessarily volcanoed out. Like with their kind of, the newer versions of the Ohio Bauer Bar and I don't know if it's because they're trying to cut so many of them at a time or what they're trying to do, but the newer versions are kind of volcanoed out in the middle. And this is more hill. You can see like the uh, the Thor branding. This is basically like a sticker. It looks like they, they Cerakoted the whole bar white. That's what it looks like. And then they, sorry, I'm trying to focus in for you here. It looks like they, they Cerakoted it white, put stickers on it, Cerakoted it black, and then removed those stickers, if that makes sense. Because this is kind of indented in it's like the black is higher up than the than the white so that's what i'm that's how i'm thinking they applied that but yeah man the knurling is just fantastic on this couple years in so we've done some damage to it but um and this is the same thing right it's like um raised it's not like painted on it's obviously layers of whatever they use cerakote or whatever but yeah so there you go so if you're looking at getting a black cerakote power bar you're gonna use it every single week, three years in, in a home gym setting, this is how it's gonna look. I think most people are gonna be really happy with it. I think the only people that'll be disappointed are people that really want the black Cerakote sleeves to stay perfect. That's just not gonna be in the cards. Uh, I don't know if you can buy. I know Rogue will sell you some parts on stuff. Uh, Basement Brandon just had a video up where he wanted to change his power rack and they sent him some parts so that he could kind of Frankenstein it <laughs> into a different, different kind of power rack. So my guess is that they would do that for you if that's what you if you wanted. You could probably buy some black Cerakote sleeves every couple of years. I don't. Again, I just don't think that that's an issue. They, you know, from a distance here, you can see that it doesn't look any different than the Chan bar above it, right? It's not till you get way up on it, and that stuff isn't coming off in your plates. It's actually the opposite. Your plates are rubbing off onto that. So every time I get done lifting, I have to wipe. You know, if I use the the red 55 calibrated over here. I have to wipe off the red off of the sleeve. So the sleeve's not coming off onto the plates. The plates are coming off onto the, the sleeve. But anyway, super happy with it still. Um, it's, it's my favorite bar. Some of you that have followed the channel know that I sold it last year and then I reached back out to the guy and bought it back from him because they don't make them anymore. When I sold it, I thought I would just buy another one, right? And they uh, either their contract with Thor is up or uh, they just decided not to produce them anymore. He's not one of their, he's not in their athlete series. Uh, a sidebar is that when you log into Rogue's app, the first thing you see is Thor 
celebrating his world record deadlift on the elephant bar uh, from the Arnold's a couple of years ago. But then uh, his products don't include this bar anymore. So I don't understand what the deal is, but I just wanted it back. And the gentleman that bought it from me actually went with a Texas instead. So he just had it sitting in the corner and nobody was using it. So he sold it back to me and now it's back on the wall where it belongs. And this is where it will stay until I'm done lifting. Probably about 83 or 84 years old. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy, I hope you're enjoying your weekend out there. Well, let me know if you have any questions about any of the bars or how the Thor's been aging. Have a great day.